Hey, Dale, what's going on, man? How you doing, sir? Can you hear me okay? See me okay? Man, these bugs are horrible. Yep, everything's fine. Sweet. All right, so I just got off work, and it's kind of crazy. There's some um, somebody totaled their car out and took out somebody's trailer down here, and the trailer's completely snapped in two pieces. I had to call the police, and the dude took off running. So, kind of crazy. What's up, Rex? What's up, Hill Jack? Uncle Josh, what's going on? I don't know if y'all heard my little story, but as soon as I got here, I had to deal with the police. And I just got off work. There was a hit and run. A guy totaled out his car, smoked out some dude's trailer, snapped it in two pieces. And now they're down there cleaning up the wreckage. Hey, fishing chick, how you doing? Uncle Josh. What's up, guys? But I have some bait. I have some white perch. I also have some bluegill that I caught yesterday. What's up, Kevin? I haven't baited nothing up yet. And I still got to rig up that pole right there. But y'all say your hellos, and I'm going to go bait up these lines. And I'll be right back. <laughs>
Uncle Josh. All right, Big Mike, what's going on? What's up, James? Try to get this camera where y'all can see it and I can stay out of the way. Sexy knife, that's right, that's right. He's just now casting out, yep. This guy here, as soon as I got here, had to deal with the police. Somebody smoked out somebody's boat trailer and took off and left their car totaled up. They're down there now. The police are down there dealing out with dealing with it now. Oh, Catton was playing with the new. I'll show him tomorrow night. Huh. Kevin, how come you haven't been fishing, man? You usually always go fishing. What's up, Frank? Man, I can't see nothing. Says we got 16 people in the house. What's up, Ricky? How you doing, sir? Thanks for coming in. While you do this to me, I was about to get some shout out. Go to that's all right, man. I appreciate you coming in. You can go to sleep if you want. I understand. No one's a night out of not uh, not everyone's a night out like me. I work third shift, man. I worked a second today. So, Carpin, what's going on? I ain't never seen you before. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and thanks for coming in. Big Mike, that takedown you had today was awesome, man. It was a nice save, too. So was I, but I'm here. Right on, right on. I appreciate you, James. All right, so I got some white perch out there for bait, and I just had a fish jump over here, probably a gar. Just kidding, bro. Good luck. I appreciate you. It's kind of a last-minute thing. I wasn't planning on going live. But I already had the bait and everything in my truck, so I was in the trunk of my car, so... Got lucky he stopped, right, right. Got one 23-pounder, then they shut all the current off at 11 and Gar moved in, right. See, that's, that's why I like wind sometimes, because the wind will keep the Gar from biting so much. I already subbed. I appreciate you, Carpin. I appreciate you. Hilljack, never fish another east wind ever again. Our wind here actually died down, Hilljack. It died down probably right around 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. My only thing is I don't know if I'm going to get a bite because of the moon. Steven, what's going on, brother? I do have another rod that I need to set up and rig up, but I'll do that in a minute. Good evening. All right, so just an update to what's going on. Uh, I do have some merchandise that is at the embroidery shop, and it will be available hopefully this week coming up. I had some hats made, and I got some shirts made. Uh, if you're all interested, just hit me up. Let me know. I didn't really purchase a big order because I wasn't sure how well stuff would sell. 
So we'll see what happens. I ordered a little bit of every size, not much as far as shirts go. What's on the menu? We got white perch tonight. What type of pole holder are you using? I'm using the bucket. The bucket with a ratchet strap holding it to the dock. Trying to win that blooper trophy, right? All my bucket is, is I took some of those little $2 dock holders, dock rod holders from Walmart that you screw to a wood dock, and I screwed it to the side of my bucket. Can you see the poles and everything okay? Also, our tide is coming in as well. It looks like it just shifted. I'm not sure. Big Slim, what's up, buddy? Rattle Trap, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. Catfish, Cameron, what's up, buddy? What's the bait tonight? White perch. White perch for now, then maybe some bluegill here in a little bit. Get your other rod set up. Yeah, I will in a second. What's up, Stan the man? Thanks for coming in, brother. Yeah, I'll get it set up here in a second. I'll cast it off this way over here, closer to shore. Um, I have to take my other eight foot rod that I have and go have a new tip put on it because yesterday when I was casting out the, when I was fishing yesterday morning, uh, at Peachtree Landing, there is a, like a wood railing behind you, behind me. And when I was casting, I thought I had it, I didn't realize I had it back so far, but when I did, I pulled it back and it hooked onto that dang wood dock and it broke the tip off my pole. So I gotta go get a new tip put on it. The eyelet, the insert for the eyelet came out. The tip didn't break, just the insert fell out. Maria, what's up? Mike Turner in the house. I know Maria's here. Dobbs got theirs, Dobbs. What's up, Dobbs? Road Warrior. What's going on, everybody? All right, give me a minute and I will go set this rod up here and get it baited up as well.
All right, so I'm gonna let y'all pick. Y'all want me to do a Carolina rig or a Santee rig? Old school. So I could digital fish, right? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Old school, I ain't never seen you before. I appreciate you coming in. It's a new name to the channel. I've been picking up a lot of subs lately. I appreciate anyone, everyone that's been sharing out my videos and commenting and stuff, liking. I greatly appreciate it. Santee might be better. Yeah, both of those right there are Santee rig. New here, but anglers show support. I appreciate that old school. Ace, what's going on, brother? Mike Turner, thank you for sharing old school's link there. Uh, Miss Maria. Ah, Maria. Fishing musician. That's a new one, too. How you doing, sir? Carolina. Deserve it, Mike. Much love and respect for you. I appreciate that, Stan. I respect every one of y'all, too. I know I don't really come into many lives that much, but I do try. I just work a lot. I wasn't supposed to work today, and I had to work. All right. Not a whole lot. Everyone, be slow. All right. So, Carolina or Santee? And I'll throw this one out there with bluegill on it. Indiana here, old school. Old school, I'm from Michigan, man, so I'm not too far from where you're at. Well, I'm in South Carolina now, but I used to, I'm from Michigan. Colorado, Santee. All right, we'll do Santee. Oh, kitty, kitty.
hard drive player. All right, I'm going to put some bluegill on this one. What we got going on here? Kevin, what's up? Yeah, man, waiting for you to go live again. Yeah, I've been wondering why he hasn't gone live. He says it's been raining a lot, I think. Doing great, and we'll be fishing tomorrow morning on Mike Turner's channel. That is awesome. You too, Stan. Got it, Maria thinks. All right. 17 people in the house. Stan, I am going to go with your favorite, and I'm going to use a bluegill head. See if we can get another flathead like last time. Yum, yum. Mr. Duggar, what's going on? Stan, yes, you do. Heck yeah, Maria, I'll be right there with you. Late nights of chat. I may have to start doing some late night chats again. There you go, Mike. I have, uh, I'm getting ready to put this on. And on that, the tall one there in the middle, that one has a perch head on it. Hammer, so what's up, boy? All right, kitty catfish. Let's see if you're up here shallow. Shallow. Our waters are really low too, which is okay by me. Right, right. Awesome old school. Did you do any fishing in Marion? On Marion. I moved back to Indiana from South Carolina. I lived on Lake Marion just across from Lake from Santee. I love Santee. It's my favorite place in South Carolina. Awesome fishing. Douglas, how about you get some ugly sleep? <laughs> <laughs> dang Mike dang that's rough 21 people in a his I didn't I didn't expect anybody to come in this late I appreciate each and every one of y'all hopefully I can catch some fish for y'all we got a weird moon Come watch me fish. That's right. Tomorrow, stand day. Mike Turner goes live tomorrow. Where are you fishing tonight, Mike? I am at the Wakawachi Marina again. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I'm a crap magnet or what. But when I came down here, there was a car laying in the middle of the parking lot. Okay, and it was completely totaled up. And on top of that, that car that was totaled up hit a boat trailer, snapped it in two pieces. And so I called the police because there was nobody around. Uh,
car was still warm. But now the police are up there dealing with it now. And who's ever out with their boat, when they get up here, they're going to be PO'd. They were delicious. Way to go, Dougie. But I'm in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, at the Wakawachi Marina, where I was fishing at last time I went live. It's just close to my house. That's why I like fishing here. Plus, I don't do too bad sometimes. This is about the only boat landing around here where I don't have to carry a gun. Which I don't, I mean, I don't mind carrying a gun, but I ain't got to worry about carrying a gun. I uh, used every kind of bait for catfish and but never caught one cat. It was really bad times during that time. Three year fight with cancer, surgery, radiation, chemo, and numb. Old school, that is awesome. Congratulations on that, man. Congratulations. Uh, at least no guns around tonight. Nope. I mean, I, I just got off work. So of course my duty weapon and everything's in the car locked in the trunk, but that was, but I don't have it on me. Is that where you caught the flathead? Yep. Caught it on that pole right there. Might see how many feet so far. I've only been live for 34 minutes. I started to live, then baited up. Always, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not far from it. My car is like right there. Trust me, I know there's a lot of crazy people down here. I actually have a video where some dude started shooting in the video. I hope you all remember that. Big fish just jumped right out there. Y'all need to jump on my line. Come on now. Quit messing around. About 8, 9 a.m. We will be on the Mike Turner's channel, Garrett. Sweet. I'll be sleeping, y'all. Just saying. I'll come in when it's like, I don't know. I'm not a morning person. Speaking of which, got to have the Duncan. Remember the gunfire video? Yep. What's up, everybody? Mark, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Thanks for coming in. I love I'm digital catfish. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over that. It's awesome. Digital catfish. That's what we're doing now. Y'all digital catfishing. How school's going, bubs? Uh... I'm not doing bad in my criminology classes, but my math sucks. Or my criminal classes, but I'm not very good at math. I'm kind of behind. It's okay, Costello. You can come see us when you wake up. Right on, right on. Yeah, my math classes are pretty tough. Mike Turner channel link. Thank you, Stan. Come on, fish. So I have one casted up on shore. And like I said, our water is really low right now. So it's probably sitting in five, six foot of water. The This one, right? So where I'm at here. Okay, this one right here is in about five, six, five, six foot of water. This one's probably in about 10, 15, maybe 10. And that one's out in the deep channel, probably right around 20 to 30 feet. And I haven't had a bite on crap yet. But we will. We're going to catch a fish tonight. 
We're going to catch another flathead. The mission is flathead. I have gone back and watched that video of me catching that flathead like five, six, seven, maybe ten times. It was freaking awesome. Like, see, if you need help with math, believe me or not, I used to be captain of the math team in high school. Be glad. Don't tell me that because I'll be calling you. You'll be getting aggravated with me. Mike, figure it out. My math, I'm like, my math is hard. I don't understand a lot of it. I've never been good with math. I can do simple math. It's cool to relive those moments. Right, right. Uncle Josh actually helped me figure out how to screen mirror, like screen record with my phone. And I'm working on a little bit of something. Man, these bugs are horrible. Hi, Joe. It's cool to relive those moments. Hi, Joe. I can't keep my eyes open, so I'm going too bad. I want to leave this from the background so you can go back. Right on, Uncle Josh. I appreciate that. Good night, brother. I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow. Night, Josh. Old School has seven subs. Can we help him out? Yep, let's see if we can get Old School to 20 subs. We'll work on 20, then we'll move from there. Give them, get them 20 of those uh, digital, t uh, what do you call them, digital fishing people. <sighs> and I will sub after the live is over. I'll go back through. Did I read correctly that you went catfishing without bait in one of your videos? Yep, I sure did. Yep, yep, yep. I went to the river with no bait. Is this a tow truck coming for that car? Night, Mike. Mike Turner, you going to bed too? Good night, brother. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. I think you caught up on your ugly <laughs> About to join you. I'm ugly sleep right on, right on. Shoot, I'm wide awake. I just figured I'd come out here, hang out with y'all for a little while, catch up, see what's going on. Maybe if we can put a fish on the dock. I want to fish bad in the morning. Not sure I will get up. I don't know how you do it, Stan. Stan is the man. Come on, fish. I'm going to give it a few more minutes, and I'm going to move those first two rods into a different spot.
Don't forget the bait, right? Go watch the video, man. I didn't do too bad. This is South Carolina, man. You can catch anything with this. Catch a guard, catch something. I'm not surprised I haven't had a guard bite. ALG, what's going on? Don't forget the bait. That's actually a pretty good idea for a t-shirt, Ace. You should do that. Hold on a sec. Pardon me, sir? I didn't know there was a catfish coming. I'm live on YouTube right now. Cool. Probably gone. Alright, well, I gotta go up here and beat the coach up. Alright. Alright, brother, good luck. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yep. Oh, you let go. Uh, I ain't got my gill. All right, so I just had a guard bite. He stole my dang head off my bait. Gotta love guard. Oh, you stole my bait, fool. All right, so that guy was saying that there's a catfish tournament, or, yeah, a catfish tournament here yesterday on this river. I didn't know anything about no catfish tournament. I try to keep up on stuff like that in the local area here. Oh, LG Bass and Cats. Yes, Mark, the torch was definitely passed on that one. I was walking. Waking him up saying, come on, let's go fishing. Now he's, come on, let's go fishing. What are you doing sitting here? Uh, we live similar lives. We live similar lives. I have sold all my fishing gear and bought better gear. My rock, I mean, my gear's not, not the best. Like, most of my stuff is pretty cheap. I have Okuma Rocks 55 reels uh, on my spinning rods. Those are Eagle Claw Cat Claw rods. They're only like 35 bucks a piece. Uh, on the 8-foot Eagle Claw rods, I have Okuma Pro 302s from Walmart. And most of my stuff comes from Walmart, Walmart or Amazon. I can't afford all the expensive stuff. 
Good boy, Aaron's PV catch this morning. Right on, right on. It's about time he catches some fish. He's always busting my chops. Oh, you want to play games, don't you, guy? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Miss Maria. Maria, you are awesome. Every one of y'all are awesome. LG is awesome. He needs to change his name to LG Cats. got going on here. I moved from close face, zip goes. Hey, I have some 808s at the house. They're not bad. The one kind of like sips a little bit. But they still work. That's originally what I put on those poles right there, the seven footers. Pink stock. Thank you, Miss Maria. I appreciate you. Get some rest. Come on, fishy, fishy. Toodles. Toodles. We got 19 people watching. I appreciate y'all. Come on, fish. What y'all doing? Wake up. It's too early to be sleeping. I think they're all sleeping, y'all. Fishies are sleeping. Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. I was thrilled to be there to support you, Greg. Y'all must be talking about the uh, camera, what they called it. Still can't think of what they called that thing. Good night, Maria. Oh, fish. Hey, fishy, fishy. I think I came out here at a bad time. We're like, when I got here, the current was already moving. I can't see how much the current is moving now.
Yeah, that current's moving pretty good. Coming in. And I have a boat coming in. I got to move this one line or else he's going to run it over. How's it going, guys? Is that y'all's black truck up there? Uh huh. Okay. Well, that black truck up there, that white car hit that dude's trailer on that black truck. Are you guys going back out or? Hit the truck and hit the trailer. No, I haven't been out here very long. No. What are you fishing for? Catfish. Catfish. Yep. I'm live on YouTube, man. I have a YouTube fishing channel. Yes, sir. I already have a YouTube fishing channel. Oh, you yes, sir. Not tonight. I haven't. I haven't been out here long, though. 
Oh, let's see what I missed. Hey, Georgia, what's going on? Glad you came in. All right, so the one in the middle, I just cast it out. I cast it out kind of parallel to this dock over here. People ask me, what am I doing? I say, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know what time the tide is slowing down, do you? Right. I fell asleep for a minute. That's all right, dude. Come on, fish. All right, I'm going to move this one to a different spot. Michelle, go. Yep, I see you. Wannabe, what's going on, Matt? How you doing, sir? Thanks for coming in. Fishy magician. Musician, not magician. Oh, there's the tow truck. Just sitting on the bank getting skunked. Don't feel bad. I've only had one bite in the hour that I've been out here. And I believe it was a garbite. Oh, 
You can just call me Garrett, Mike. All right, sounds good, sounds good. There is a tree floating down the road. Well, it's part of a tree. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Probably not. All kinds of stuff in this river. I have had three bites, my buddy. I had two fish at the bank and lost them. Man, that sucks. There's all kinds of stuff in this river. Oh, am I getting a bite? Am I getting a bite? Got all kinds of craziness going on down here. What's up? Jesse, Jesse. What's up, Jesse? Long time, brother. Where you been, Jesse? Stan the Stunner. These guys that have just pulled up on this boat, they're like severely intoxicated. I'm trying to go to bed, and my brother comes home from work and wants to talk fishing and makes me a monster. <laughs> I've been chilling out for a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand that. Is that right, bird? Is that right? Just hanging out, wanting to go fish in the morning. Guess you're going fishing now.
Mike, you should have entered in the Iron Cat Challenge, brother. Come on, fish. Matt, not right now, but we will be live in the morning on Dobbs' channel. On my channel with Dobbs. Fishies ain't biting. Mike, still, I still don't think I could have beat Sherry. I don't know, man. You spend many nights awake, man. I think in my last live, didn't you say you were up for almost like three days straight? I know you work a lot of hours. It was up to me, I'd still be fish. <laughs> What's up, Sunfish? I know when the thing first started, I was like, man, I wish I was in this. I want to be in it next year. I don't want to be in it now. Okay, folks, I'm heading to bed. All right, Mark, thanks for coming in, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Steven is back. What's up, Steven? They weren't biting when I fished Tuesday either. The only bite I got was a nasty spider on my leg that got infected. You know, I have been hospitalized twice down here in South Carolina by freaking spiders, and both times when I was fishing. Them damn brown recluse, man. They mess you up. Screw that. I can stay up, but I still wouldn't. But... Oh, get another bite on this one. I'm going to let him chew on it for a minute. And that current is ripping. As soon as you put pressure on them, they let go. I got bit while fishing and two days later I had to go to the yard. All right, that's what happened to me. My dang legs swelled up and I couldn't even walk. Cast it away from that guy. Sitting here skunking up the lake. <laughs> I've been 
debating whether or not to go to the ER for four days. It gets better than, man, you don't want to do that, man. Don't do that. Because you'll end up getting a blood infection. And, yeah, you don't want to do that. If you got bit by a spider, you need to go to a doctor. Yep, you will definitely get a blood infection. Younger and drinking, I would stay up for three days, sleep three hours, and aging sucks. Sounds like a garbage. Yeah, that's what it was. As soon as you put pressure on them, they let go. Always. I'm gonna go to bed, old man. So can get up as fast as this current's moving, I should have went to a different spot. Nineteen beautiful people in the house. The beautiful people, the beautiful people. Sorry, I had a moment. I know Dobbs knows that song. I used to stay three or four hours looking but playing video games while I was talking to the chick named Crystal. She was a real bee just saying. Who is that? Oh, that's Dobbs. Yeah, spider bites are no joke. Stand three got bit by her. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Like if your leg if your skin feels hot, like hot to the touch. And very tender, you're starting to get a blood infection. You need to go, Doc. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn musician, I went through the hot burning skin already, it's better now. I wouldn't trust it, man. Garrett, I wouldn't trust it. Wait a week to go, yeah. Spiders ain't no joke, man. I have a scar on my, on my shin, on my right leg from a spider. He bit me, and I didn't know he bit me, but... And it laid eggs up underneath the first layer of skin underneath my thing underneath my leg and they had to cut it out and push the eggs out I have a scar on my cat on my shin about the size of a dime one got me right Should have waited for that fishing. 
I pulled it too quick. Old school, that sounds like a brown. That's exactly what it sounds like to me, too. And that's what they told me laid eggs up underneath my skin was a brown recluse. Because when they bite you, they numb your skin as they're biting you. I think I'm so numb from pain thanks to military that germ spider bites I plus up, I squeeze it, and I'm usually good. All shots from the military, I think I'm poisoned. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Matt. I didn't know you were in the military. Anybody else out here and has served in the military or law enforcement, I greatly appreciate you and I salute you. Both times looked like a bullseye for the first day or so. Yep. But one thing I will say about the spider bites, though, that anti-venom shot they give you hurts worse than a damn spider bite. At least it did for me, because they shot it right in the back of my thigh. And it was a needle about that long. Pretty sure it wasn't a brown recluse though. It burns. Yep. I wouldn't do that. I am psyched. Got that song stuck in my head now. The beautiful people, oh, the beautiful people. The Marilyn Manson. My grandpa served and my daddy served and my brother served and they told me I was too fat and I said, go fuck yourself and I'm not fishing. <laughs> they would whip you into shape real quick. I always get bit, the bugs like my blood or something, mosquitoes get me bad too. Do you have fair skin? Because I know my son, he's got fair skin, he gets bit up all the time. No fishing, no more shorts when fishing up. No, actually. And on that note, I'm going to smoke another cigarette and I'm going to bed. Right on, Mike. No, actually. I'm going to check that bait here in a minute. Catch you in the morning. We're in bed. We have been for a few. Really haven't made it that far yet. Still sitting on the couch. Come on, fishy fishies in the brook. Let daddy catch you by the hook.
Sounds good, Garrett. My son carries a F pen with him. I forget him a bit for my horse life. Yeah. My son carries. Oh, I read that one. Gotta get up at 4 a.m. You all check out Stand Day in the Morning. Live, Mark Turner's live on the stand with Willie and Ace. Stand Day in the Morning. And Mike Turner going live as well. Stan and Mike, I will catch you in the morning. Well, sometime tomorrow. I'm sure y'all still be live when I wake up. You usually are. Just finishing up some stuff. It's starting to get a little chilly now. Man, that truck is loud. Uh, this bike might actually be a horse fly or something. I didn't see it bit me. I just assumed it was a spider. Because the reaction was similar to the spur I got before. You never know, man. It doesn't get any better. I, uh, I'll definitely go get it checked out. Going live tomorrow night. Right on, Kevin. Give me something to do at work. Man, these fish ain't biting tonight. It's been fun, everyone. Wish you lots of luck, Mike. I finish watching the video tomorrow. Good night. Angler, stay frosty. I appreciate you all the school. Thank you for coming in, man. Get some rest. Oh, fish. If I don't get a bite in the next half hour, so I'm going to call it as well. Because I am hungry and I haven't ate nothing all day. That's how it's been here too. It's really not the time to uh, fear for horse flies, right? The bite has been slow. Last week the bite was pretty good. But I was also fishing a different tide. I started when the tide was finishing up going out and as it was coming in is when I started catching my fish. But now I'm like right in the middle of, of it coming in. And on top of that, we're at a king tide too with the moon. I don't even see the moon though. It is flathead season. Got any live gills? No. <coughs> no, sir. No, sir. It's very hard to keep gills alive down here because of all the guard. As soon as you put a live gill on, the guard kill them as soon as you put them out there. Any, any live fish, the guard kill them as soon as you throw them out there. All right, I'm going to check the bait on the middle rod there. I 
almost a little. Oh, no. All right, so I think I figured out why I didn't get that fish. The hook turned itself back into the fish. So I'm going to take this and we're going to run it right up to the top of the skull. I don't know if y'all can see this. We went right up to the top of the skull. Thought that one was getting a bite. Uh, when I'm fishing them live anyways, I hook them right behind the dorsal fin, right? Hate when that happens. Sometimes grab a worry to pet the guy. Right. How would y'all like a live where I was using clickers so the cam focus would be on the reels instead of the rod? Huh, that's interesting, Kevin. Me personally, I like watching the takedowns. And I have a boat coming up the river. Let me reel my stuff in. I'm wondering if this is the guy that got his car, his boat, his dog, trailer wrecked up here. How you doing, sir? Yeah, you're good over here. All my lines are that way. No, tide's not right, man. No, not quite yet. Oh, what? Not yet. Nope. 
Can I ask you a question? What color truck you got? Black. You got a black truck? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. When I first got here, my white car right there. When I first got here, uh, there was a white car. It might still be up there on the tow truck, but he smoked out someone's trailer and poured in two pieces. Pulled out of the car. And he took off running. No, sir. How do you guys find out about these catfish tournaments? I didn't hear nothing about it. What do you mean? How, how do you find out about tournaments around here? Oh, you just gotta look them up. I mean, I've lived here on the life, so I never really get a call, but Derek Logan, he runs the, uh, the college street tournament. Derek Logan, he runs the college street tournament. But uh, it's a boat and rod and reel tournament, so I mean, you can fish out there. I'm going to go and walk it back. Two biggest fish won it, and the biggest fish won the series. So, you know, you know, two to one pound, or three to two pound, or something. Uh, probably would have been the best thing to do. I don't know how, but we could. Yeah, we just kind of got it. Because my dad came down and told me to do it. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun doing it, but I'm not going to do it for another year, though. It's Justin. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, man. Uh, I was talking to that guy. He said he caught a 50 pound yesterday. They're up in this back town right over here, right across from where I'm fishing. Man. Got to get back to work. All right, Stephen. I tell you what, losing signal. They need to talk louder. Then there was one. I'm solo now. I'm kind of glad because he would. Cast basically right in front of me. Well, he said that he caught a 50 pounder right in that little creek channel that runs right across from me. I first started out using J hooks. Long time ago, I did two. Or flathead blue. He said it was a blue. And he still didn't win the fish the tournament with it. Mm -hmm. 
What's all I know about a catfish tournament yesterday? They're biting the grass, Olivia. I love fishing the tournament. Yeah, I didn't even know anything about a tournament. And I'm, I have all the little Facebook groups and stuff that are around here. I didn't hear nothing about it on my face uh, for like I'm on their Facebook page. This little marina here. And I have to do some research. I've been getting all my big bites on big shiners. Use them a lot when I have my boat. Come on, dude. Hurry up with your truck. Don't get your boat so I can cast back out. I don't mind using J hooks, but they're more prone to swallow the J hook than they are a circle hook. Ah, come on. I had one, he let go of his guard. Yeah, they smoked that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm so glad that wasn't my damn trailer, dude. Yeah, you see that? That was close to my truck. I know. God, I'm happy that wasn't me. God, I've been pissed. Hi, right, you too, man. Thanks, bud. I appreciate the info, too. No. Seriously? Huh. They don't check the boats or not before they do that? Right. Seems like they check the boats before the boats launch. Ain't that how tournaments usually work? Man, that current is ripping my line. Sounds pretty rinky dink if they don't. Yeah, it seems like they would check the boat before the tournament starts. So the guys, the same guys won it the last six years in a row.
All right, I'm going to cast this other one up. Some folks will cheat if they can, right? That one ain't even got no bait on it. All right, so what's up, JP? Thanks for coming in, bud. Uh, so, like I said, that one didn't have no bait on it, so I'll just put some more bluegill back on it. That last bite that we just had was on a, a perch body. Okay, so what's better, level guide or none? Uh, mine both have level guides. I don't think my reels like that uh, trialing big game though. I think it's got too much memory. I 
on those Okuma reels I have, those uh, bait casters. Come on, fish. Yeah, I just don't understand how you can cheat. It seems like they would check your live well before you went out. Like, the only way I can see that happening is if you actually had, like, a house or something here on the river or with a boat dock and you went home and got a fish out of a, and then put it in your live well. Like, that'd be the only way I could think of being able to cheat. I don't like it. I use the 30 pound. Yeah, I use 20 pound. Too easy to cheat if they don't check right. Oh, 15 people still watching. I can't stand cheaters. Yeah, I don't like them either. Uh, I was in a tournament where a team caught, was caught cheating. They caught some good cats either in the day and had them on a stringer tied too. I mean, it's possible. But they said he, he wins every single year. He always has biggest fish. Like I said, the only way I think you could cheat down here is there's a lot of houses on this river and a lot of docks. Maybe he has a house and maybe he has one at home or something. Picked them up during the tournament, but someone saw them. Huh. Go away, moon. That moon's starting to peek itself up over the trees over here. Damn it, so I've never had good luck when the moon is out bright. Never. What do you get from cheating in a tournament? I mean, I don't know. I've never fished in a tournament, so I don't know how they really work. I've watched them like bass fishing tournaments online, but I don't even see a moon. Yeah, it's right there above. Coming up above the trees right here.
Oh, 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 oh. Got on my Facebook machine. I'm gonna give him a second. He pulled on it once. Exactly. How do you get enjoyment from winning something? But I, I don't know. Oh, fresh off. Exactly. I don't have it. Fish on, fish off. Wow. Are you saying fish? Your boy Troy, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Troy is in the house. Thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you. Fish, fish. At least you're getting a fight, son. Huh? I fished quite a bit yesterday, and I only caught one fish all day. It was the one that I posted last night, or yesterday afternoon sometime. Jojo. The fish just jumped over there by where I got this one casted out at. Guarantee I'll get a bite in a second. Probably a guard. Come on, fish. I'm 
I think that last bite stole the bait on this one. What kind of rods are you using? I am using the Eagle Claw, Cat Claw rods. Seven, those, the one in the middle is an eight footer uh, casting reel, and these two are seven foot spinning reel. I have another eight footer, but I got to put a new eye on the top because the insert fell out. When uh, I was casting yesterday, I hooked a wood dock, like a wood railing. And it broke the line and ripped the insert out of the eyelet. All medium heavy action. I've caught some decent fish on them. I'll show you what, I don't know if you can read it. Oh, it's upside down. Whee! But that's all they are. It says four ounces, but I've casted almost up to 10 ounces on them. Haven't had an issue. And I got an Okuma Rocks 55 reel on these. And on the Casting rod is a Kuma Pro 302 or whatever it is, but that's all it is. 20 pound big game. I don't even think they make them anymore. I got some of the Berkeley big game rods to try out. Uh, I've heard a lot of good stories about those Berkeley big games. You shouldn't do that. Do what, Matt? Oh, you talking about me ripping that insert out? Yeah. Like I was, there's a, never mind. It's hard to explain, but all I did was rip that insert out at the very tip. Lost my Patriot James float and everything. Hook a dock right. Are those, yeah, they're only like $35 a rod, but everywhere I've looked there, I found some on eBay. They're a little pricey on eBay, but there is some out there. I get most of mine at the Garden City Pier.
He has them in stock. He has a bunch of them. He just bought a bunch of them. But if you go on Eagle Claw's website, it says they're discontinued. I saw an expensive rod test for Berkeley Big Game Rods on you. Yep. Was lifting almost 60 pounds. Those B and M silver, those B and M silver cat rods are pretty good too from Walmart. But on Amazon, I know you can get those uh, Berkeley Big Games pretty cheap. I think they're only like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. I like these ones because they show up real good in light. Mosquitoes all over my phone. Come on, fish. I'm going to give it just a little bit longer. Got mine at Walmart for 21 some change, right? I have a mix of rods. I have Ugly Steak, Catfish, Berkeley Fusion. From Walmart, Catfish Pro Tourney. Lose time. No idea where I got one from. Can't remember. I had it in a coma toilet. I have a rod. And a real combo that I bought. It's the Jimmy Houston 7. It's 8 foot. And I think I only paid like 60 bucks for the rod and reel. It's camouflage. But that's where I caught my biggest fish, my biggest catfish I ever caught. I, used, I was using that and I caught it down there in uh, Lake Marion and Santee. That 40 something pound blue. Custom wraps and everything. Someone else owns it now since they stole it, right? Can't stand a thief. Smooth as can be, right? My very first fish rod I ever bought, it's in my car. Uh, it's an ugly stick and still one of my favorite rods. But I have a bunch of fishing rods too, a bunch. Find good deals on them, I would just pick them up. Like Walmart, not too long ago, it was like back in the early fall, they had the B&M Silver Cat rods, the blue ones. Uh, someone bought a setup, bought a bunch of them, and they didn't pick them up, so they had them on the shelf. I think they were like 20 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
I also have some Berkeley Mudcat. Well, I have one now since the other one snapped in half I'm trying to cast. That was, a, I think that was a defective rod. Silver cat. The only thing I don't like about them is the handle. I don't like the handle on them. even after selling a bunch. All right, Troy, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't like the way that, like, if I ever use them, I'm probably gonna go have the, cord, the handles wrapped in paracord or something. I just can't, I don't feel like I can get a grip on them. Thirteen people still watching. Looking for a medium ten foot with no insert eyes for a good price, right? <sighs> Most of these my cat max eight footers Berkeley E cat Saint Croix. Them Saint Croix are expensive. And tigers for the muggly the muggly stick tiger cat rod or tiger rods. Those are those are pretty good. I just don't want to pay more than 50 for a reel if I don't have to, or for a rod without a reel. And they're real hard to find down here. I've only ever seen them like once or twice. The mustard color ones, yeah. Those are the ones I'm talking about. 60 bucks. Bargain hunting. I have bought everything used. <laughs> I used to like buying stuff on eBay, but somebody hacked my account and now I can't get into it. Come on, fish. Wake up.
So what's y'all's opinion? Do y'all fit mind fishing? Or, do you guys have any luck fishing under a bright moon or what? Me personally, I don't ever have good luck underneath the underneath the moon. And it used to be right. Mostly bad. It's either been really good or really bad for me. Yep. Like two or three, yeah, I've had most luck after midnight during full moon. With me, it's hit or miss, not had luck even matter what. I don't think stuff like that matters in my opinion, right? No, I do know that like, if the moon's already passed over and it's about ready to set, then it's not bad. I've caught fish like that, but when it's like directly over top or coming up, uh -uh. I pay attention to the weather, the moon, all that crap. And I never catch any fish if the wind's blowing out of the east. Never. To me, the moon is only part of the equation, right? Not the biggest part either. I think it's like the moon is like 2 or 3 a.m. Come on, fish. Same here. In the rain. You know, I've caught some decent fish in the rain. Same here.
Uh, there are a few conditions that we think chances are increased. What's your what's your uh, condition? I do know we have a front moving in too. I think tomorrow, tomorrow evening, we have some rain stuff coming in. And one night during a steady drizzle right after a bad thunderstorm right. Kevin, nope. I'm sure I have him, buddy. A few gar bites. I'm going to give it like 10 more minutes. I'm probably going to call it a night. Go home and give me some food. Couldn't keep up with the rods that that night, right? It's supposed to rain tomorrow through Thursday almost, right? Was that like for two hours and completely stopped? Huh. That's why I wanted to get out here today. Hey, Larry, how's it going, bud? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get out here tonight before it came in. But I've been scouting out some new spots, too, that I want to try out on a different river that I've never fished. I definitely might have to bring a gun for that one. That's why I would start with four rods from the shore, close to shore. Yeah, that's how I got them now, Matt. I'm actually thinking about casting this one back up closer to shore again. Or I might just call it a night. I don't know. I'm pretty hungry. Tune off the bottom with a cat bob here. I know I don't want to be up here when that guy gets up here when he realizes that his trailer got snapped in half by that guy. I wish I could fish with four rods. Yeah, we're allowed to fish with four from the bank. I can't remember how many it is from a boat. I think it's like eight or ten. Two rods per person here in Ohio. Mm hmm
in the summer. Yeah, me too. When I catfish, it's either early morning or late at night because the boat traffic down here is crazy. That's why I want to scout out different spots on different locations that way I can find where the boat traffic's not so heavy. But I don't like scouting out new spots there at nighttime because I can't see anything. Oh, my light down here just died. Crazy peeps, right? I don't fish the hot human nights. Trailer snap. Yeah, the dude's trailer in two pieces up there. Uh-oh, wrong button. Can't stand boat traffic where I live. People act like they are... Right. Uh, I, when I first got down here, there was a car that was completely told off sitting right in the middle of the parking lot. And when I got past the car, then I saw the boat, the boat trailer. He hit the boat trailer, swung it completely around, upside down, and snapped it in half. And broke it right at the tongue. No, all I've had is gar bites, Larry. Yep, mine too. First chance they get, they'll run right through them. <sighs> but we have down in Georgetown County, uh, I've been scouting out spots on the Black River that dumps into Winyaw Bay. Getting a bite right here. Uh, on this rod right there, getting a bite on that one. But uh, I've been scouting out spots on Google Earth. And Larry was telling me today that it's a brackish, a lot of brackish water. Oh, musician, I can't be in the heat either. I had a heat stroke and he was rushing over hydrated. Oh, well. It gets real hot down here. Man, I'm surprised that white perch ain't getting tore up. Glad I got my rain gear starting to sprinkle already.
as we flat the head video up there. Huh. Blue Gabe. She's been. <laughs> I'm not trying to jinx myself, but it hasn't rained here quite in quite a while. I'm gonna give some sleep next guys catch you all right fish magician or uh, musician thanks for coming in Garrett I appreciate you buddy I'm gonna call it here in just a few minutes too go home and get me some food Rain so bad here from the storms that went through here in Texas that, holy cow. Larry, I'm gonna check out those videos, man. Or that video. Blue Gabe. All right, I'm gonna start reeling these lines in.
so much humidity in there, my hoodie's wet. All right, y'all. Thanks, Larry. Enjoy. Always enjoy Mike's lives. Just chill, no BS. Yeah, that's how I try to keep it, man. I deal with BS at work. I don't want to do it here. I come here to relax and chill with y'all. Thank you, Garrett. All right, you guys. I'm going to call tonight. I'm going home get me some food. And I will try to go live again next weekend, maybe. Maybe Thursday. I don't know. My next day off is Thursday unless I get called in. We have bike weeks coming up here, so it's going to get pretty crazy around here. So I don't know when I'll be able to go live again. I'm hoping Thursday. But I want to thank every one of y'all for coming in. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thank you. I'm going to figure out how to get this thing undone. Matt, be careful out there fishing, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. JP, have a good one. Larry, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you. And also, thank you for the info you gave me today on the uh, Black River. I'm going to definitely get down there and check it out. All right. Have a good night, y'all.